What's up, Richmond? It's Helen from Miss Girlie's Kitchen. Our city has some of the best culinary gems, Jamaican spots, pizza joints, soul food, gas stations, cakes, and we're going to tour them one by one. Join me every Tuesday at 5 a.m. on CW Richmond as I take you on a tour of the Richmond restaurant scene with Miss Girlie's. What's up, Richmond, or Hopewell? Um, it's Helen from the Richmond Restaurant Scene, and we're here with Miss Raja Nelson. Hey. Kids in the kitchen. Let's eat. All right, let's eat. I'm hungry. Who's hungry? Me. Oh. I haven't ate all day. Not at all. All right, so what are we, what are okay, we cooking today? So first, we're going to make the strawberry cheesecake mousse. Now, ladies, I don't have menu cards today, so we're gonna read from my phone, okay? Yes. I didn't have time to print them. Aww. So, Lola, I want you to read everything under cheesecake mousse and tell us what ingredients right. we need. Yes, ma'am. We need half a cup of strawberry puree made from about one cup of fresh or frozen whole strawberries. So we have fresh strawberries. We need half a cup of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of powdered sugar, one Go look in the eight ounces of broccoli cream cheese, Crazy. one third of a cup of powdered sugar, powdered one and a half sugar. teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one and half extract. And what was the last thing? And four to five strawberries. Okay, so we have the strawberries. So we're going to walk over to the mixing table. Let's take all of our ingredients. So it's very important that we get all of our ingredients together. That way we can, we don't have to be going back and forth. Right girls? Yes. Okay. Okay, so are we getting a grade on this? Because I should be getting an A right now. Oh, hopefully not. <laughs> Okay, so basically what you're doing is you're just teaching them the basics of yes. cooking, right? And the whole idea of Kids in the Kitchen was to teach fourth and sixth graders basic things that they can do in the kitchen without their parents. Oh, so I can totally cook on the stove without my parents? If I your parent allows you, yes, see, you already do it. So we just learned different meals to cook, right? What did we cook the last time? Um, what do you call it? The shrimp and yummy food. <laughs> shrimp and yummy food. That's how it's going to be. Shrimp and yummy food. Creamy garlic Tuscan shrimp and pasta. Yeah. And um, the dessert was um, 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 I can't remember. Yeah, what was the dessert? Um, vanilla pudding. Um, banana, banana pudding. Yes. Banana nice. pudding. And you made your own banana pudding, right? Yeah, I put too much on Cookies, vanilla wafers. Yeah. So right, open this pack for us. Lola, can you open this pack? And we're just going to put the cream cheese in the mixer and we're going to mix it. I made cupcakes before, by myself. So how do we have to do the cook class? It's for four through six graders. I was um, in second grade when I first started. You started cooking when you were in second grade? Yeah. That is awesome. On the stove. I started cooking when I was in first grade. Oh, yeah, really? I learned the basics of cooking, but I just learned how to like make little frozen little bars. Uh, frozen little bars. So do you cook at home for your family? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a big family. I have five sisters, um, one, and mom, and Step, step, step. And you cook for everybody? Yes. That is so nice. Hot five. Right. Um, Can you tell me how much powdered sugar we need? I have a brother, a full brother. Mm -hmm. um, Two cakes. Sister, no. Okay. I need I take turns. a measuring stone. I'll be right back. My sister and sister and me. My dad. 
And sometimes mom. So that's nine people that you cook for. Nice. So on, yes, you just locked it, okay? Okay. So here's the speed. We're gonna start small. And then we're gonna start increasing it. I cannot wait to eat this. That looks disgusting. Okay, go on. Cheesecake more. is my favorite. Is your is your favorite? Really? It's really? It's okay. It'll come off. We're going to add some sugar. Sugar. How much sugar do we need? Two tablespoons. Is it the powdered sugar or the regular sugar? Powdered sugar. How much of regular sugar? Does it only use powder? Okay. So that, oh, you're right. You just have it two different times. So I need the one third one. One third. One third cup. Mm. So how long have you been doing this? We started back in June. So this is our fifth class. So you have the same students all the time? I don't. Each time they sign up through Eventbrite. And that's how they get in the class. The class is free, but they have to register just so we know how many kids are going to be in the class. All right, Ross, switch out with one of them. You need a third cup of sugar. Can you check that and make sure it's a third cup? Yes. Okay, so I want you to add it slowly in the side. I can't wait to eat this. So you girls get to eat everything you make here? Pretty much. Yes. I, I, I Pretty much. It's my first class. It's my second. Lacey would be here or would be her fourth. So is the class offered year-round or during uh, special times of the year? It's going to be offered year-round. This is our first year. It's sponsored through the Office on You, so we do it every third Friday of the month. Welcome to Miss Gurley's. Come and taste a little bit of home. Named after our late grandmother, Girly Frances Crump, we have a commitment to quality that's reflected in our fine food, and we prepare dishes just like grandma used to make. So grab your family, grab your friends, and come and taste a little bit of home. We were nominated in the top five for Richmond Times Dispatch's Best Brunch in Richmond. Paul Parker here, owner of Metro Auto and Truck Repair. We do oil changes, tire rotation, brake repair, belts, headlights. Bring it on down. We'll take care of it. Come on down to Metro for 20% off your first visit. The Suited Box, specializing in custom apparel for men and women. Stop buying clothes that don't fit. Take charge and build your own style from hundreds of fabric and brand choices. The Suited Box. Why look like everyone else? Stand out. Girls. I'm gonna eat so. One time we were supposed to make uh, lemonade, strawberry lemonade, mm -hmm. and I ate all uh, the really good stuff. <laughs> 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 oh, we need some gloves. Yeah. I think we may need some gloves uh, before we start smashing. Want me extra? Yeah. That's stuff. What's bad? Yeah. All I get is healthy. The uh. Yeah. Wait, you have the box? Which yeah. one are you guys going to? Catch a cold I'll go to your car. And where do you go? Catch a cold Buggy? left here the last time I was here. This is fine. I know where, I, I, I know this life anywhere I go. In here. I can't be safe for you. There's a whole bunch of yellow ones over there. Exactly. Okay. Okay, ladies. So, since we don't have a blender, we are going to puree our own strawberries. We are going to smash, smash, like smash. So I want okay, you to wait. cut the top off, and then okay. after you cut the tops off, I only have one for you. I'm just struggling with the glue. Then you're going to put the strawberry in your bowl and smash it. 
If it doesn't smash easy, then you might have to take your hand and just crush it. Okay, let, let me just uh, get my glove. We, we're gonna do some crushing now. Okay. Once you start crushing good, I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar on there. Oh no, no. So who comes up with um, what, what you're gonna make every class? Do you let the kids decide? The kids will decide for the next class, but the last few classes I've done with Chef Tatum. Mm -hmm. The next class by Kid Choice is omelets. Oh, oh, I'm definitely coming. So they will be making omelets for the when next class. When is that going to be? Oh, it's in November, the third Friday in November. Uh, uh, I, got I think that's the 16th. I got so you offer the class the third Friday of every month? Yes, ma'am. Oh, dance. good job. That puree looks awesome. Helen, you're doing a great job with your puree. It looks like Thank it's been in a blender. Thank you so much. Wow. Really good job. So you um, so you teach the class here every third Friday? Yes, every third Friday here at the Community Center at Hopewell. Okay, ladies, we're going to take this puree and we are going to Drink. add it. No. We're going to add it to our cream cheese mix. Oh, okay. Yum. Sorry. I'm really excited. And everybody just add your puree to one. it. One. No. One. No. Lula. Lula. Oh, get in it. One, two, three. <laughs> like <laughs> potato juice. That sounds wrong. Okay, good job. Can we just put them on together? Disgusting. Oh, great job, Helen. Thank you, boo. Okay, so now we're gonna start mixing again. Lock the machine and start slow. Girls, what's your favorite dish? What's your favorite food? Um, sushi. Sushi, nice. Sushi. My favorite is a steak. Nice. Yeah, mine's too. I love steak. How do you like the steak cook? Oh, I like medium. I like my medium. Oh, you like to take rare? Oh, wow. How much do you need? So, how do you tell me how much whipping cream you need? Uh, All right, my zucchini pasta. You know, this is an awesome thing that you're doing. Thank you. And I, I commend you. I take my hat off because I, I wouldn't have the patience. I love to kids. Do, this. do you? I'm a child of nine, so this is oh, not wow. easy. You have no other <laughs> alternatives but to like kids. Yeah, and I'm the oldest girl of nine, so oh, wow. I've been cooking since I was seven, and I love helping and teaching kids. So if my child was, uh, if I resided in Hopewell, um, I would just have to go through the Office on Youth Exchange. Yes, it's, it's posted on the Office on Youth's Facebook page and on the government website. Mm -hmm. And it's an Eventbrite link, so you just click the link, register your child, see what allergies they have or um, anything they really just detest and don't like eating so that I'll know and then just go from there. You come to the class the third Friday of the month. <laughs> Delicious. There you have it, folks. We are here. Uh, we're eating zucchini pasta. It's delicious. Uh, and we're here with Chef Raja Nelson and Chef Makai Tatum at 
Hope, Hope at the Hopewell Community Center, Kids in the Kitchen. Cooking with Kids in the Kitchen. Until next time. The Suited Box, specializing in custom apparel for men and women. Stop buying clothes that don't fit. Take charge and build your own style from hundreds of fabric and brand choices. The Suited Box, why look like everyone else? Stand out. Welcome to Miss Garrett's. Come and taste a little bit of home. Named after our late grandmother, Girlie Frances Crump, we have a commitment to quality that's reflected in our fine food, and we prepare dishes just like Grandma used to make. So grab your family, grab your friends, and come and taste a little bit of home. We were nominated in the top five for Richmond Times-Dispatch's Best Brunch in Richmond. Paul Parker here, owner of Metro Auto and Truck Repair. We do oil changes, tire rotation, brake repair, belts, headlights. Bring it on down, we'll take care of it. Come on down to Metro for 20% off your first visit. I am Shayola the Artisan, vegan, uh, Chef, new vegan chef. Um, I love vegan food. I had some. I had some at New Vegan Cafe, and it was magnificent. So, what did you have? I had the eggplant, the chicken drummies. Oh my God, it tastes like chicken. I can't mm -hmm. believe I'm saying. I cannot believe I'm saying this. It tastes like chicken. As much as I love chicken, <laughs> it tastes like chicken. Yes, it was very, very good. I could become a vegan. Okay. Is that like uh, down the road for you? What, what are we thinking? Uh, no. No? Okay. Okay. That's I could. Real. I could. But, you know. Just choose not to. Yeah. Okay. I just love fried chicken. Okay. But now that you know you can do the drummies, is that not like reason enough to uh, no. make the switch? No? I'm still stubborn. not. Okay. I'm stubborn. Okay. Maybe one day. Not today. Okay. Well, you don't have to be vegan every day. Okay. No, I guess not. Right. I mean, if you I said, okay, if, I, if it's seven days in the week and... Three out of the four days, I'm just not gonna have meat or dairy. Okay, see, that's where I draw the line. Okay, okay. Because I gotta have some cheese. But listen, I have cheese today. I want you to, I would like vegan you to cheese? Take, I do have vegan cheese. But that's not for necessarily the carrot tuna. That's for the lentil burger. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna hook it up. Daya. Daya cheese. People have their, you know, differences in terms of you know, it's commercially um, made now. When you're a smaller company, I think um, people may take more pride. And then when it's mass produced, it's like, is it the same? I happen to love it, but I do feel that soon I'm going to have to change my mind. Okay, so we shall see. This cilantro smells awesome. Yay. I love cilantro. Cilantro is good for you. Cilantro, oh, cilantro is really good if you um, are a fish eater. I love fish. Um, it helps to fried. Okay. <laughs> Look, I am not far removed. This journey uh, definitely was not an easy one, but it was one that I had to make. But um, cilantro helps to remove um, things from from your body, and hmm. we usually get heavy metals in our body from fish, the mercury, wow. and all that jazz. So cilantro it up because it's definitely good for you. Cilantro it up. Yes. And then we have some parsley in here too. Excuse me, man. These are carrots? Well, no, no that's peppers. Um, peppers, little onion. I'm gonna re-mince this and mm -hmm. this will be um, the base, if you will, for the carrot tuna, which I've dubbed carrot sea delight, like current sea and uh what, I strive, I strive. <laughs> it's cute. So what makes the carrot sea tuna, um, tuna are the sea vegetables or sea seasoning. So some of the seasoning that I will use, um, it has dulse in it um, and Irish sea moss, which gives it that fishy taste and smell to be most honest. Hmm. So. It's very interesting. I love it. And this is something that will be featured at Mama Shell's. She loves it. 
So <laughs> we're gonna love have, her. Isn't she a doll? Yes, yeah, she, she is. We met um, through another young lady, and we've been inseparable since. Nice. Yeah. So the next step would be to remince. So I'm gonna take a little chopper. Oh, that's so adorable. Well, you know, try to be as portable as I can be. Look at that. <laughs> all right, so we can put all a of this. A mini Robocoo. A little bit. So we're gonna put all of this back in here. As much as we can. Now, do you usually have celery in your tuna? Is that a thing for you? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna put a little celery. And then we're going to mince. All so right. you just have to turn it. It's not as high tech as um, some of your other. Yeah. Oh, that's so adorable. So the next step would be to juice our carrots. Now, we can, the goal was to do two things with this recipe, which was to also do a live juice so you're not wasting it, because we're gonna use the fleshy part, if you will, of the carrots. And then the juice, I would typically add um, some ginger. ginger, some lemon, and Love beets. Ginger. Love beets. It really is good, I call that my flu shot. So if you, it's great for, of course, the heat from the ginger to clear out any congestion or anything that you may have. So, do you wanna do the honor of uh, juicing the carrot? Sure. Okay. All right. Juicing carrot. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let the spirulina fool you. Spirulina is necessary. Okay, folks, okay, so. The spirulina is... Cheers. <laughs> you don't have to do your face. You don't have to do your face like that, Miss Girly. It tastes like tuna. And I, I'm gonna put one more seasoning in there. Wow. Just one more. She's trying it. It's really good. Can I have a napkin? For sure. And I bought napkins and I crumbled them. So I'll get you another. It's really good. It is very good. For me. Can I have? Mm. There you are. I love it. So the um do I taste like Maybe allspice? Allspice is in the seasoning. So it's a savory and a sweet um, turmeric that I use, as well as mm. a little curry. So curry. Do, you, do you taste the curry, you think? I do. Okay. So I'm finding that, you know, seasoned parents are important. They make, they make sense. Don't let the green throw you off. Just close your eyes and take, this is mindfulness eating. Mm. So to the people out in the world, it shouldn't be as green as I said, but that's the spirulina. It happens. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Oops. Curry, curry tuna though. I mean, not curry. Carrot. Ca carrot tuna, carrot tuna though. If, if, you, if you hesitate, people around the world will be like, well, do I want to taste it? It tastes just like tuna. So I'm just here to say, you know, don't let the look fool you. You know, it's it's great. It's just a little green, right? Carrot 
tuna. So part of what makes it um, taste like tuna, here again are the, the seasoning, the sea vegetable seasoning. So you have your dulse and you have um, iris sea moss, which you can use. Um, iris sea moss also comes in liquid form. So you can add it to whatever you like. She took a second bite. Did you see that? Because I saw it. That means that you may like it. Mm-hmm. And it's great. It mm -hmm. tastes like tuna. So I'm just saying. Less less spirulina next time, but other than that, we're good to go. The um the lentil burger is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hear a button there. No. Okay. No. So it's an and? It's an and it's not a good. button. It's good. Yay! I don't know about that cheese though. She's not a fan of the diet. No. That's fine. But the burger's good. It's got a great flavor. I'm happy to hear that. So part of, um, that's a great segue because I was invited to um, Living Light Culinary Institute to participate in a nutritional program, which is in California. So I started a GoFundMe. Shayola goes to school. So please donate supposed to be leaving in like two and a half weeks but I have to really go hard with the advertising um, so how can we reach you uh, via the web which is um, holistic alaye.com a-l-a-y-e and alaye means living um, social media holistic alaye or Shayola the artisan will be able to find me I'm there I'm there well you've done a great job Thank you. I'm I could excited. become a vegan. Part-time or full-time? What are we talking? Okay, we gotta take baby steps. Baby steps, okay. We gotta take baby steps, okay? I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. I could replace the tuna with the carrot tuna, though. Mm-hmm. That's great. The lentil burger, I could eat that. Okay. Instead of, uh, you know, meat. Um, but the cheese, I, I have to have some real cheese. Oh, that was my point. So I would love to make and cultivate my own cheeses. And then you can be like the official taste tester since you are, I'm picking up a cheese connoisseur type of vibe. Why, yes. So, you know, I'll check in with you every once in a while and say, hey, got a new cheese. I need your feedback. Official cheese taster. She will be the official <laughs> cheese taster. Great job. Um, Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. I'm eating carrot tuna, though. <laughs> the lentil burger was delicious. Until next time. Say J on the